power level critical. Major systems offline. What is going on, guys? It is Golly, and this is the second uh, live commentary I've done on zombies. The first one was on Reese. It turned into a five-part series. And a lot of you guys uh, watched it. I got a lot of really good feedback on it, so I figured I'd uh, do it on another map so you guys can gain some tips on zombies solo from me. And uh, hopefully keep you guys entertained for a few days. Now, just before I start saying anything really, I want to tell you guys that every video in the series will be uploaded at the same time every day. So if I upload this one, say at uh, 5 p.m., uh, the next episode in the series will also be uploaded at 5 p.m. the next day. I'm guessing, I don't know, like I made it to around 28 earlier on this map. Just as like kind of a rehearsal. I just got trapped. Wow, I almost got fucking wrecked at round one. That would have been depressing as shit. Wow, okay, but if you guys want to get a lot of points, just hip, shoot them in the leg. It uh, gets a lot more bullets in them. One, two, three, four. Wow, okay, that one was weak. Here's a full one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, there. Eight bullets, and uh, it's like the max amount of points. But anyways, what the fuck was I saying? Um, all the videos in the series will be uploaded at the same time, uh, 5 p.m., so just make sure you check my channel every day or YouTube every day to see the next episode in the series. Now, um, what the fuck was I talking about? This is, it's 1 a.m., so, almost 2 a.m., I'm trying to, not to be that loud, don't wanna make my dad go, George Romero! No, he's not mean. I love my dad. Anyways, oh, fuck, mate, almost went down there. Need to buy this M14 so I don't get raped. Bam, bitch. Okay, okay, we're. I, I just completely lost my train of thought. That was a terrible start to this commentary. This is actually my second part. Um, I was doing actually really good. I was like maybe 10 minutes into it, round six, and I just went down like twice accidentally, and I felt like a retard because I shouldn't have went down and I wasn't looking around and I had insta kill. And it was just complete fail everywhere. Now, you guys enjoy my zombie videos, so I'm just going to keep posting them. Now, you guys, so I, had a, I had a really good question, actually, on one of my last videos. Um, you guys were like, so, golly, what are you going to do when uh, zombies gets old or when MW, I mean, in five months? And hopefully there will be another uh, Black Ops map pack with another zombie map. From what I've been told, there is going to be, but nothing's confirmed yet. And there is supposed to be a, uh, a survival mode in MW3. I got a lot of info on that, kind of. And I'm going to be posting a shitload of MW3 gameplay, so that's kind of what my channel is going to be doing in five months, because MW3 comes out then, so... I don't even know why someone would ask, what are you doing in five months? Uh, MW3, derp. But... MW3 is going to be really exciting. I feel that it is going to be an amazing game because of survival mode. It's kind of going to be like zombies. There was this one magazine that got to do like a preview on it in a way. And they went to play survival mode or whatever. They said it was spec ops, but there were still spec ops in MW3. But it had a twist to it. It was like it had another feature called survival mode inside of spec ops. And what that was was kind of like zombies but obviously not zombies itself and they were like it, it's they said it was geared to make newer players to call of duty uh, have an adjustment to multiplayer so instead of getting right on the game and going to multiplayer with hardened veterans um, they would have like a time to adjust and stuff get ready for multiplayer getting their ass kicked and shit so I don't know I felt like it was a really good idea in a way Wow, that was a close escape. But at the same time, I am kind of hoping it does feel like Nazi Zombies because I don't want too much of a change. Nazi Zombies is amazing how it is. And if they, uh, I know it's not going to be Nazi Zombies because I don't really think they can steal Treyarch's invention like that. I call it an invention, is it? More like uh, a thing that they have on their game that's copyrighted or something. I don't think Infinity War or Sledge. Who's making this game? Sledgehammer? Uh, Raven Studios and Infinity Ward and Activision are helping out from what I know. Not sure yet, but the game comes out 
sometime in November, not sure on the exact date, it's probably the 8th or something like that, like every Call of Duty, but I'm really pumped for it actually. Um, like when Black Ops came out, my channel wasn't really that big, I had maybe, I want to say 4,000 subscribers, and really the only way to get bigger on YouTube is from your current subscribers. If you have current subscribers that really uh, enjoy your videos, and they hit the like button on every one of your videos that go up, and they uh, hit favorite a lot, then your videos are going to be more searched. Like, uh, when people search videos on YouTube, it depends what shows up. Say you search for, I don't know, for this video, for example, the more likes and favorites this video has, the higher it's going to be when someone searches uh, Black Ops, Black Ops 5, Five solo commentary or some shit like that. I don't know how many five solo commentaries there are or will be, but um, the more likes and favorites a video has, that's uh, that's why YouTube really is a, a really fucked up way. The bigger channels can get bigger, and smaller channels kind of get left in the dust because they don't get the likes and ratings and stuff. And when a bigger channel puts up the same video as them. The bigger channel is going to get bigger and the smaller channel won't get noticed at all. And that's uh, really fucked up, but that is how YouTube works. And I don't think they plan on changing that anytime soon. It's really built on that uh, the really concept of when you're big, you only get bigger. And I don't think that's going to be changing anytime soon. But um, uh, why I think they're adding the survival mode is because I, I personally feel that like when I've been... When I used to play MW2 and World of War and stuff in those days of gaming, there was always, there was always like, how should I put it, there was always a field of gaming where you could tell who was good, you could tell who was bad. There was really a big, uh, there wasn't really, how should I put it, there wasn't that in-between player, you know what I mean? There was either you were good at the game or you were just average or bad, like, you weren't good, you know? And it felt like the uh, the dominant players kind of ruled it in a way. And now since Black Ops came out, since gaming has evolved so much, there's a lot more good players than there were bad. Like in World of War, me and my friends would go in, we would always get bad people, we would rape, there wasn't really many really extremely good gamers back then. But now it feels like a lot more gamers are getting better, and people are... A lot better at gaming than they used to be in a way because of how big uh, the YouTube gaming community has gotten and just everything in general with gaming how much uh, it's changed publicity wise and stuff it's just insane what it's come to now hopefully MW3 runs off the same game engine as MW2 because MW2 if you really think about the core uh, system of MW2 if you take out noob tubes and nuke and Commando, you cannot argue with me that, that probably wasn't one of the best games ever made. Because, if you look at the core basis of it, MW2 is just perfect. Like, it's the perfect sniping on it's fun, everything on it is great, and the only really downfall is are those things that I just mentioned. And there's not really anything uh, that Infinity Ward is going to do to change that. They've already mentioned that they're not going to really do any big game updates to that game so I don't think that any of those things are ever gonna be changed so that's just the only downfall so hopefully MW3 is pretty much the same thing as MW2 in a way a lot of things changed hopefully add some key things from Black Ops like changing the uh, the dot sight and stuff on your gun but I just really hope that stuff's added to MW3 and what I plan to do with my channel over the summer, since I don't really play Black Ops multiplayer as much anymore as I'd like to, uh, I want to start doing a lot of MW2 gameplay because zombies, I can only make a certain amount of zombie videos and before it gets extremely, extremely overused and oh wow, I need to make this guy a crawler.